Hey, welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm your host, Chuck Leonard. You hear the music, you know what time it is. It's time to go to Old Town Mariposa with my buddy Bob Borger from Vets Gold Coin. Bob, how are you, sir? Mr. Leonard. Nice to see you. Nice tie. Thank you very much. Now, who did you bring with you today? I, I brought a new friend, Penny Otwell. Penny, Penny Otwell, and you, you stuttered a little bit on that Otwell, like you wanted to say something else. I keep wanting to put an R in her name, but it's not Ortwell, it's Otwell, and and uh, that, there's a story behind that, and I just don't want to go there yet, okay? Well, why don't we uh, stick to Penny. Penny, how's it going? It's going great. Thanks, Now, uh, why, why'd you bring Penny with you today, Bob? Well, it's a long story, but to bring it right to the focus, uh, Penny is, uh, is an artist. A fine artist and uh, one day I saw a piece of her art and uh, you know a lot of people paint Yosemite you know the rocks and the trees and the river and you know it's it's uh, a lot of artists you know we're Carmel Sierra's up there so we have a lot of artists. Penny does an extraordinary colorful Yosemite and I was struck by it. And I, so I hunted her down. She was living in El Portel. I just had to meet the lady who was doing this art. And now she is uh, one of the hosts and a guest on the Yosemite Arts Trail. So I asked Penny to come and talk to us about her Yosemite, her, her view of Yosemite, and what's going on with the Yosemite Art Trail. Awesome. Penny, thank you for coming. Now, are you from the Mariposa area? Did you grow up there? No, I am from British Columbia, Canada, and my parents moved to L.A. when I was quite young, and I was a city girl. And when I was 18, I saw an ad for a job at Yosemite National Park. I called I've, up. Se I've seen him. I've <laughs> seen him. I know what you're talking about. I called the number and they said, "Can you be here in three days?" And that easy. I did it. What, what year are we talking? 1964. How fun! Yeah, and I've been there ever since. So you so. go there. Were you a painter at that point? No, I was always drawing. Always drawing. So you're a sketch artist. Sketch artist. And did you feel like you were an accomplished sketch artist at that point? No. So you, you come to California, and what were, at that point, what, what were you seeking? What, 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 just to get away for a little bit? Uh, being 18, I think it was adventure, it was nature, uh, it was hiking and learning to backpack. And so there's no boys involved at the, yet? Uh, oh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> now, now you, so you start sketching when you're there. Yeah. I mean, you can't help it, right? No, it's and so, so when, when does it change from... The sketching to the painting? Not for a long, long time, but I did do watercolors when I was on the trail, uh, always drawings. I have 40 sketchbooks of drawings that I did over all these years. Are, the, are these sketches available for people to see? They are, actually, at, the, at my open studio coming up, so I do have them out. But the color thing that Bob is referring to, I believe, is all about my emotion about Yosemite and the mountains and how I feel about it. And I just interpret Yosemite in a colorful, intuitive way, not so realistic. Is there, is there a way in words to describe that, how you, the, the colors that you use and the vibrancy that you use? I lose myself in a piece while I'm painting. I don't think too much. I act in the painting, I'm part of the painting. It's very intuitive and it's very hard to verbalize this. So. What, what, what size paintings are we talking about here? Well, I like to work large. I work 24 by 36 pretty regularly. And, uh, but I do real small paintings also because I like to change, you know, go down and then go up. So I, I really do like large pieces and uh, actually show, show that most. Now, so. what type of paintings have you done so far that, uh, I'm sure that you, you have the, the, the half domes and you know, those kind of oh, things. Yeah. But, but uh, my half domes are pink and purple and red. So, so, so. Kind of like when the sun would be setting on it? 
No, not at all. <laughs> it's well, then explain different. it to me. Uh, it's, it's, it's from my heart. I, I don't paint what I see. I paint what I feel. Wow. And it's, it's very different. And it's really very, this intuition, this imagination comes into play. Is so, this acrylic paint that you're using or the watercolors mix? How do you do no, it? No, I'm an oil painter. Okay. So I do acrylic work uh, on occasion, but I really, and I do watercolors. I teach watercolor, but I love oil paint. It's uh, juicy and luscious and I, I'm able to get the, the effect that I'm looking People for. are going to be so. able to actually go into Penny Studio. That's part of what the CR Art Trail is all about. Yeah, yeah. And uh, she does a demonstration. Uh, in fact, how many artists? 100 artists? 102 artists are on the Sierra Arts Trail this year. It's a, it's a record number. It's the 12th year that uh, the, the show has been going on. There's people who do ceramics, there's people who do fine woodworking, metalworking, there's, there's jewelry, there's so many different kinds of art. And, and how, what many, happens, how many days this year? Uh, three days. Three days, awesome. Coming and up this weekend. It costs uh, what? It's $18 right. for a, a little, not little, it's actually yeah, very... Program. It's actually a book of each artist's work so you can see where you want to visit on the trail and that's for two people to visit any studio that's, that's, and, an, that's and, an amazing value it is oh it is and you it get is. to go into the studio and you get to meet the artist yeah. you get to see the art and uh we, we you know when i talk about you know the artists and the art in yosemite and and around our region it's uh it's it's really hard to represent but for for someone to take this tour uh you will understand what I'm talking about. Yosemite has been a huge magnet for 150 years, and we have some of the most talented mm -hmm. artists, I think, in the world congregated around our little little community. And, yeah. And uh, you get to, you get to f go in and pick. You can't see, visit them all, uh, uh, even uh, in three can, days. Can I say this? The very first year that I went uh, on the Sierra Art Trail, I, ha I didn't really know what to expect, and when I came out so of there, been there, I still didn't know what I, what to expect. It's just like <laughs> everything was different all the time, and it was just like something different every corner that I was turning. I know. And so the creativity is way up there. It is, and, and the uh, quality. It's a jury we have, show. We have internationally so. known artists in this in this region. Yeah, it's and, great. And uh, I don't think people uh, really understand and respect the the depth. And the and the range of talent that we have, and that's why. Now, that's if, why if people want to buy this book, because the book is the tickets, right? Exactly. Now, if they want to buy it, where can they get it at? Uh, online, and it's, uh, it's it's actually I think they're going to show it at the end of the show. The the website, so you just go to sierraarts.org. Sierra Arts Arts. Okay. Dot org. That's hard to Remember say. Remember, she's Canadian. Yeah. SierraArts.org. A. <laughs> I've been learning. Don't you be causing any trouble around here. Okay. <laughs> now, no. that's going on this week. It starts Friday? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 6. And we serve refreshments at most studios. And, you know, you get a chance to talk to the artists, ask them questions. You get a chance to see how they work, and it's actually a very special kind of hang out. opportunity. You can hang out, you can learn what what they're doing, and talk to them about their work. So it's, it's and very then fun. over at six, what a great time to spend the weekend up in the Sierras up yeah. there. What's going on in Mariposa? Well, uh, we do have a little football game going on, but uh, Mariposa High got a home game this weekend. I understand. Denaire. Denair yeah. High. Denair, yeah. Where, where's Denair? Yeah. Does anybody know where that is? It's down in the in the yeah. Central Valley. It's yeah. it's uh, north of Merced. How's that? Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, but uh, and, and it's going to be an interesting game. But we also have Friday night live in Mariposa. We have uh, some musicians uh, around town. Uh, the Gold Coin, of course, has. Uh, Cottonwood Creek, and then we have Mike and the Lavios brothers on Saturday night. But the uh, and and there are other musicians around town. And to be honest with you, uh, I don't have a list in front of me, so uh, 
I just can't get play. out there. Go to Old Town Mariposa. Walk around. You'll hear the music. Right. You'll, you'll see but, the people. Uh, you'll, know, you'll know where they're going. And this time of year, people could probably find some accommodation. So, you know, the art trail is, a, is bigger than a, than a one-day deal. Right. And uh, so uh, my suggestion, humbly offered. Oh, by the way, we have a, a deal going on in Hornitos this weekend too mm. uh, um, a yard sale kind of thing yeah, uh, the, the flea whole town of Hornitos the flea is market, a yard the, sale the flea market <laughs> in Hornitos is famous it's, it's more famous than the enchilada feed but what I'm saying is that uh, perhaps if it was me I would drive up 140 99 140 come into Mariposa do the art trail show during uh, Friday send Friday night in Mariposa uh, you might even catch a good football game. Uh, and uh, then Saturday, Sunday, you have uh, Yosemite, you have Oakhurst, Awani, Nipponawasi, you have Coarse Gold, uh, and, and uh, the Awani Lakes Park. And yeah, all, all on the trail, all on and, the and, Sierra uh, Arts Trail. And, and you can so. pick up the booklet uh, in, in Mariposa and, uh, and start your tour. So I, this is a this is a great I, I great it. time to come bring up. the kids, let them see some art, get them up into the Sierras, let them see how beautiful it is this time of year. Yeah, it is a it thank is. You, thank you very Thanks, much Chad. for coming on. Oh, it was it's so really cool fun. talking to you. Really you fun. bring her back sometime. I I, I might. <laughs> All right, but we're gonna take a quick commercial break, but we're not going away. We're coming back in the next segment with some more old town Mariposa. And these commercials, this is this is a hoop. There's someone in one of these commercials that I want you, you might recognize. We'll be right back. Stick around. She was so beautiful, my tongue was tied. I tried to 